Like, come on, in your dirty, nasty, funky hands on your on somebody's vagina. Like, come on now, you're that is disgusting. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Paris, and I am back with another freaking video. Period. Oh shit. In today's video, I'm doing a mukbang extra stripper a question video. Before we get into the video, guys, I do want to thank you guys for a thousand subscribers. I have a thousand subbies, okay? I, I'm I'm fucking with y'all. Like y'all real. Y'all in the comments, like we we be chatting, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm fucking with y'all, so I appreciate the 1K subscribers and now I'm on the road to 10K. Cause you know, like little baby said. You make a that when you make a thousand, you can make ten thousand. When you make ten thousand, you make a hundred thousand. When you make a hundred thousand, you can make a million. One million. You ever see that? It's, it's like if you can make one thousand, you can make ten thousand. You, know. you can make ten thousand, yeah. you can make a hundred thousand, yeah. you can make a hundred thousand, you can make a million, and so on. Oh, you, gotcha. you, know. you feel what I'm saying? So we gonna keep that mindset going. And yeah, so I'm gonna get right into the video because I really have to work in like an hour. And excuse the traffic. I'm outside. I decided to come outside and just like enjoy my hot lemon pepper wings, extra crispy, all flat seasoned fries, and my pink lemonade drink. Let me get a 10 piece hot lemon pepper sprinkles, extra wet, extra crunchy, with a peach drink on the side. And make sure my fries fresh because last time they were cold. Period. So. I decided to come outside and just enjoy the scene, enjoy the scenery out here and talk to you guys. So we're gonna jump right into the video. Let me um eat some of this food. Cause I'm really hungry. Like this is like the first thing I ate today besides Starbucks. Yeah. So I asked my Instagram followers, I posted on my Instagram to ask me anything they would like to ask a stripper and I got quite a few, which is good. But, um, yeah, we're just going to jump right into the video because, like I said, I have to be at work in an hour or so. So, the first question is, does your family support you or do they be on BS? Um, my family support me, like my mom, my sisters, like, my family, like, they know that I'm dancing. Like, it's, it's nothing they can do or say, you know, if this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing. And my, my family are supportive, honestly. Honestly. I don't think that my dad knows, but we just gonna keep it how it is, you know what I'm saying? Oh. So the next question is, oh my gosh, how do you keep your vagina so pretty with no razor bumps and color discoloration? And with being a dancer, do you have to wear makeup? So to answer the first question, um, hold on, let me, first of all, let me eat my wings. Oh my goodness. Mm. I'm sorry to all my vegetarians out there. I'm so sorry. Mm, okay. So how do I keep my vagina pretty? Um, honestly, I don't do waxes or nothing. I just shave, shave, exfoliating, or get a wax and exfoliate like often, you know. And use natural products down there. You know, you don't want to keep using like chem products with chemicals and stuff like that. But that depends on your body type. I can't really say. Me, I don't do waxes. I just shave and I exfoliate. And it keeps it like real pretty down there and you know, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. With being a dancer, do you have to wear makeup? Um, it is good to wear makeup because at the end of the day, you're like, you're trying to sell a fantasy. Like you're trying to like make everything about the, the customer's experience and experience. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't want to like, sometimes it's cool. Like when you, you when you tired of wearing makeup, you don't have to wear makeup, but you should wear makeup when you at the strip club. And it's just period, you know, because you want to make sure the person 
the customer that you're dancing for, you know, get, he's getting the whole experience. He, he wanna, you know, feel like he in a fantasy. Like, you know, he can go home to his woman and she can not wear makeup and she can wear her bonnets and she can just look like she just, you know, all natural and pretty. But when he comes to the strip club, he wanna see that shit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, some dudes like the naturalness, but wearing makeup in the strip club is like, yeah, you know? Next question is, would you recommend dancing to, would you recommend dancing to someone that's trying to move out? I'm guessing you're trying to move out of the house and you wanna dance? That's what I did. That's exactly what I did. My When I moved out of my mom's house in Memphis, I moved to Atlanta, my plans was to dance. And I had no clue on how to dance and none of that. It just grew with me. It just grew on me. So, I mean, if that's what you want to do, if, if working a regular job is something that you don't really don't want to do, then why not? I literally just told one of my family members, like, as long as your mindset, as long as you keep, who, long, long as you know who you are and don't be easily influenced by other people's and their actions, then there's nothing really wrong with, you know, dancing in my opinion. Because if that's the case, shit, I'll be feeling bad for dancing. But I don't feel bad for dancing. And, um, so that's my answer to that, I guess. Somebody asked me, while dancing for a guy, has he ever swiped your vagina and is touching a part of being dancing? I literally just, um, said this but at flame no it's um, um unlawful to touch dancers at blue flame but the other clubs y'all can do the hell y'all want to do it's okay if a dude smack you on your butt a little bit you know rub on your back you know while you dancing it's just letting them know like you're they're interested you know but all that touching your vagina that is not that is unacceptable Nobody wants like your dirty, nasty, funky hands on your on somebody's vagina. Like, come on now, you're that is disgusting. And you never know, like niggas are dirty. Men are dirty. Like they are so dirty. Like they don't wash their hands after they pee. They don't get their nails done. They don't get paid. Like they're, like they're dirty. So you shouldn't even want that. Like if a dude do, I don't give a fuck if that, the club do allow it. That's your body. Like you can tell don't touch me <laughs> like and if you don't want to spend no money after that then that's fine like the next nigga with how do y'all personally feel about the negative stigma that stuck that stuck to dancers i feel like it is what it is because there are what people say about dancers some of it most of it is true because it, i mean it's only a, it's only put out there because someone has experienced it like all dancers aren't like you know hoish and all dancers don't fuck for money all dancers don't do extra shit for money like we just in the club to make some money i have never in my dance career had for money wanted to have for money now i said before like i've been offered multiple times and it's just like to me like this is work like this is work it's fun if you like the nightlife it's fun but it's work you know what i'm saying like we're women at the end of the day and it's like we have morals you know it's just the fact that we are in a club shaking our ass with some money like it just so happened to be that you know what i'm saying but you got women like me and most strippers that i know who's probably who has more morals than a uh, that work a nine to five, you know what I'm saying? Cause them, I mean, damn, let me stop cursing. I, I feel like, I feel like I'm, I don't need to be cursing, but, um, but women that's working nine to five, come on now, I know a few. They be quick. One second. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> you laugh like that nigga will be like, uh -huh. Oh my! My God, my bad, y'all. So I had a, somebody call me. So so rude. So rude. So rude. 
The next question is, were you shy when you first started dancing? Hell yes, I was shy. I was nervous as fuck. I, I didn't, I was so nervous and shy. I was so nervous and shy to the point where I didn't even make no money on my first day. Like I literally, I sat at the bar the whole night and I observed the club, I ain't make nothing. I was so freaking shy. Like I was fucking, I didn't, I was scared. I ain't want nobody to see my butt walking past. Like, that's how shy I fucking was. Like, it was bad. It was bad. Do you experience colorism at work? Um, yeah, I have. But, you know, niggas gonna like what they like. It's not even about a dude, like, it's not even about, like, that. Like, you know, a nigga, when I go to the club, Sometimes it's just like, you know you like what you like. Like, some people don't like slim brown skinned girls. I don't think they're racist. So you, you gotta think about it. These folks come in the club and they spending money. You feel what I'm saying? So they trying to make sure they get the best experience they can. You can't even be mad or think they racist because of, you know, that. Now some girls do, like, I just don't take it personal. And nobody should, like, cause at the end of the day, you. You don't want to be feeling like you ain't that bitch in the club. Like, I'm the fine. I be feeling like I'm the finest, one of the finest motherfuckers in there. One club that I work at that I probably had experience like colorism is um, LA. When I worked in LA. When I worked in LA, like, it was so hard for me to, like, get in sections because, like, you gotta think about it. Niggas, they, they, not, they not even thinking. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they not really, like, thinking. And that club is it's based on like security, like the security basically run them up for the club. They run the sections. So it was like if you ain't know the security, it's, and it's all about like it's really not even the colorism thing. Like it's more of like being connected, knowing people, having your way, making sure like you just like you know people. Like you have to be, you have to network and just know people. Like really, this is like that's all it is. And then when you do that, you're gonna make money. And it just period. If you knew who um, Lil Baby was personally, he came in the club. Like, all you gotta do is get, it's not even really a colorism thing. Like, it's just all about who you know. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't even, even want to be thinking about no shit like that because it don't even matter. Like, a nigga gonna like what they like. They want what they want. At the end of the day, it's most, it's niggas up in there that love me. <laughs> they love me. And then they spend all their money on me. It is what it is. I don't even. I don't even think like that when I come and go in the club. Cause then that shit gonna throw you off your game. That shit gonna knock you off. You know what I'm saying? Like now you gonna be thinking like everybody after you. Like everybody ain't. You know they're just negative thinking. Even if it is like shit, brush that shit off your shoulders. Go to the niggas. Another person. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. The next nigga. Go dancing. It is what it is. Mommy, this shit's so fucking fire. Oh my god. Pink lemon, like, pink lemonade with hot lemon pepper, extra crispy, all flats with seasoned fries. God damn. I'll never give up this meal. All right, but that's the last question, guys, before I end this video is, is there tension between the girls that are natural and the ones that had surgery? Um, kind of. I won't say there's tension, but there is, I'm, yeah, there's a little, like a small, incy beastly tension, you know, because it either, it, it either is or it ain't. You know with niggas like and the dude gonna like natural or he gonna like um girls the bodies now men are starting to like they're starting to appreciate the natural women more you know that shit just hit different you know what i mean you know what i'm saying like it just hit different i'm trying to say i'm trying to say this without actually like offending anybody but there is a little bit of tension when it comes to that because now most of the time men are picking like they really fucking with the natural girls and the and the big girls or they 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 shit the um girls with surgeries they're looking like damn like she making this money like you know they it happened to me a couple times a quick little story a quick little story time 
it was this one time um it was this dude and and he was with some other he was with um like a few other dudes and they wanted me to dance and the girl came over there she was like i was already over there. i was just sitting i wasn't even dancing i was just standing there she came over there and um she just like like you want to get like what's up like hey and he was just the dude was like no nah, i'm good and then next thing you know i started dancing and they threw a lot of money on me and I can just, and then later that night, she she ended up saying something to me. She was like, um, you be so quiet, like, you don't be bothering nobody. Like, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Like, why, like now you want to talk to me because they picked me over you. Like, it just be little stuff like that that happened to me. Because, honestly, I'm not trying to toot my own horn. But, apparently, I be hearing this a lot. And I'm one of the bad bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a bad bitch. And and I believe that I'm a bad bitch. They, I ain't no nigga gotta tell me that, but I believe that I'm a bad I walk around like I'm a bad bitch at the end of the day. So it's just like, and maybe it shows. And it just, it is what it is. Like, I'm a bad bitch, and I don't give a fuck if that bitch got big titties and big ass, or if she get, just got big ass and like, like, it doesn't matter to me. Like, it shouldn't even matter anyway, but it is a thing it's normal it's natural like a lot of women do get insecure about other women's bodies and like feeling like they not especially when you ain't made no money tonight that's when you really start to think like damn am i pretty enough damn like niggas just you know niggas like light-skinned girls with big booties like that's when all that starts to happen when you ain't making no money because when you making the money like you ain't really you ain't thinking about that you know what i'm saying but it's a thing like i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna sit here and say that it ain't it's, it's really a thing. Um, it's a difference with the natural girls and girls with surgery bodies. And it's a thing where um, dark skinned girls feel like the light skinned girls with booties and teeth and stuff like they're more privileged. Which I don't personally feel like that. I don't even let that even bother me in a club because like I said, I'm a bad bitch. I walk around like I'm a bad bitch and it doesn't matter. Like, I feel like there are other bad bitches in there. Like they just, everybody just bad. Like why can't we all just be bad in our own way? You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't gotta be no competition. Like there's no competition at the end of the day. I'm confident in the fact that I know I can make some money and it is what it is. All right, guys, so that wraps up this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend. I'm on the road to 10K now. Now that I reach my little 1K, you know what I'm saying? I'm on the road to 10. And it's just period. Like, I'm not, it is what it is, 10K. But, yeah, like I said, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.